We are engaged by Cricket Australia to test the mechanical performance and the durability of cricket balls that are used in Australian cricket at different grades of cricket. To do this, we had to create a set or minimum standard for which cricket balls could be tested against so that Cricket Australia could eventually accredit balls to be used across different grades of cricket. Balls are tested by measuring the size, the sphericity of the ball, the colour and its bounce property. We're measuring a force of almost 1,600 kilograms, which occurs in a period of less than one second. And so in this case, the ball deforms by over one centimetre during that time period. At the heart of the test is a wear test where we impact the balls against surfaces that reflect the uh, impact with the pitch as well as the bat. And we do that for a large number of impacts. This is our wear test apparatus. So it consists of a pneumatic cannon, which has an automatic loading mechanism. Balls are fired out of the cannon and impact the wear surface here and here. The two surfaces represent the impact with the pitch as well as the impact with the bat. This is what a typical ball would look like after our wear testing procedure. We look for blemishes in the leather itself, any of the stitching that's come away or any parting of the stitching that occurs across the ball. And we also do a three-dimensional scan of the ball to be able to look at how perfectly circular these balls are before and after the wear testing procedure. With these kind of initiatives, partnerships are critical and, and with someone like the University of Queensland, they're bringing a huge amount of expertise um, to the table and so we're able to have a really robust and independent process. The new standard that we've created will help to ensure consistency across different ball manufacturers and help to ensure different cricketing clubs and cricketing club associations that they are using a ball which is fit for their standard of cricket.